Hey guys, we're Berlinger95, recording live from your local county prison cell. It's another decent day out, so I figured I might as well just start recording and do this episode now. Um, so this is a fight that's a little difficult. It's a little hard to kind of pinpoint on both an analytical level, but it's also really hard to do on, like, a functional level. Like, how would they make this fight work and I'll get into that later but um I honestly think if they can pull it off it would be so worth it because this would be freaking epic so this fight is uh Susano from Blaze Blue versus Oni from uh Street Fighter right now you might see the reason is that one is like a transformed ascended version of uh Hazama or Terami or Hakuman or whatever and the other is an ascended version of Akuma so really you'd be well maybe they just do Hazama versus Akuma well that doesn't really have the same you know what I mean that doesn't really have the same like like that doesn't really have the theme behind it when you look at Susanoo and Oni that that hits different, all right? That fucking slaps. So, uh, let's try to get into this, because the other part was the analytical level. I'm going to have, um, little to none, little to no, like, practically applicable information in this fight. <laughs> so, <laughs> strap in. Um, so... Because it's blaze blue, I'm going to miss a lot of details because, look, forgive me for not knowing how, what the story of blaze blue is, but nobody does. So, yeah. Um, so, Hazama and Terami are essentially two different personalities of each other. Um, usually the difference is one's wearing a hat. And Terami being arguably the more powerful just due to his psychotic nature and Hakumen is essentially a robot samurai that has like a soul stuffed inside of him so Hakumen is the name of the of the robot I think and then we refer to the hero as Hakuman because he's like the lone Hakuman who um you know becomes the who, who like survives and becomes you know the legend I don't know if Susanoo is specifically that one or just a Hakuman suit I'm not entirely sure about that but he basically infuses his soul into a Hakuman suit and becomes essentially a well not essentially in the blaze blue universe he is considered to be literally a god like a god of destruction um now eh, you might say like how is that possible that you a guy merges with a robot and he becomes like literally a god like a creatorial god well you see in the blaze blue universe there's a lot of like God adjacent technology, um, like kind of like Transformers esque, where it's like, you know, there are these powers that be that determine the events, and you know, they're essentially like they have their own consciousness and and sentience, and they're and they're, but they are machines. Um, in fact, Teremy actually, I think, like put, like, a virus into one of them or something. So, I don't know. But, so, if there are real gods in, in the, the, you know, in that universe, it's essentially, you know, they're, they're kind of pay, playing a back seat, and who are considered the real gods are essentially these, ascended machines that have, you know, been able to reach the, you know, status of gods without literally becoming gods. Kind of like a, I have no mouth and I must scream kind of situation where it's like, 
you know, it's like this this machine literally controls everything I have. There is nothing ex in existence outside of it. So if there is a god, it's him. Or it, I should say. So you got that kind of situation. Um, you know, cyberpunk theology aside, um, the reason he's considered a god is because he has the power to back it up. He is, he is, he's able to, you know, essentially using a sword made out of energy that he creates, completely envelop an area in, in, in darkness. He's able to, you know, tear the ground up just by, like, running. Not, like, pick up dust clouds, but, like, tear the earth beneath him up just by running. Um, he, it took, and this is why I think it was a Hakaman suit and not Hakaman himself, because I'm pretty sure I, in, in the anime, I know I saw Hakaman and Ragna fighting him. And, um, the fuck's his name? The, the, the brother, I don't know, whatever, the ice dude. Um, yeah, like, all of them fought him together, and eventually won, but I don't think it was through, like, power, I think, you know. Um, so, also the reason Susano is considered as a god is because he's the one who, in the, in the, the story, he's the one who destroyed the Black Beast, but then there's, you know, Blaze Blue Timeline, Time Travel, going through a whole thing of, like, you know, he might have led, he might have had a hand in the events that created the Black Beast, and he might have done this, and then, and this. there's a lot of, there's a lot of, maybe this, maybe that. But the point is, Hakaman, or, uh, Susanoo is, like, stupid fucking strong. The same could be said for Oni. Now, there's no real, like, story or, like, real events around Oni. Um, it's essentially just he's Akuma once... He has been completely immersed with the Satsu Inuhado. Now, I don't mean, like, I don't mean, like, he's tapped into its full power or, like, it's, it's fully, you know, it's fully incorporated with him. Like, in the form of Oni, he is the physical embodiment of the Satsu Inuhado. He is the power of Satsu Inuhado given like a physical form. So he think Akuma and now like multiply it to the Akuma f degree. Like he's fuck he's like whereas Akuma can steal your soul through the raging demon, this guy, you know, using the power, this guy is the power. And he's able to steal your soul just by like He's able to punch your soul in the face, whereas Akuma would just punch you in the face. This guy punches, like, your soul in the face, essentially. <laughs> like, Akuma shoots, you know, Hadoukens into you. This guy shoots Hadoukens through you. Uh, you know. So, there's not all, like, again, there's no, like, story to Oni. There's no, like, uh, series of events that Oni is known for that Akuma isn't. Akuma doesn't really have that much of a story in, in in Street Fighter anyway. It's just kind of, it's the same as Ryu. It's the World Warrior story, except it's, you know, Ryu's walking around looking for just, like, fighting for the, for, because that's what he knows how to do, and Akuma's doing it, like, for a quest for power. Um, yeah, but I do know that Oni... Oni and Evil Ryu both got one-shotted by Gil in the IDW comics. Um, one-shotted to the point where they reverted back to their original forms. Now, you might say that's kind of weird that he can revert back to original form if he's, like, fully become one with the Sasui Nuhado, but, yeah, whatever. I guess he just got tired of being the physical embodiment of murderous intent, but... Anyway, um, so who'd win this? So, this is hard to calculate because, like I said, A, there's almost no way to, like, on my end, to extrapolate any information about these characters in terms of, like, prowess or whatnot. It's literally just 
bigger, badder versions of other characters. Um, and B, the information I do know doesn't lend itself because there's always these parallels to it. Let me, let me get into this. So, Susanoo is supposed to be God-adjacent, right? Um, now what that means for, yeah, you know, I've always said this, that's, that's, just a title, and you can't consider a title or a rank when you're looking at a death battle. That's just, you know, you can't say, well, this character's a god, and this character's not a god, so therefore the god went. You have to look at, you know, the actual factors and the actual, like, strengths and everything. Like, god-level strength is not a universal standard in all of fiction, all right? Like, there are god, there are characters that are not gods that are stronger than characters that are gods. Sometimes in the same friend, like in the same property. So, what what does it mean in terms of a character's power to be a god? Secondly, let alone god adjacent. Secondly, he's not like Akuma has fought. If you want to use the the Asura Asura's wrath as uh you know, an outlier, and you want to say that's non-canon, that's fine. But we also have seen Akuma, base form Akuma, say things like, you know, I get to kill a god again. Not saying that he has, but like, or it's like, it's always fun to kill a god. I remember in Marvel Capcom 3, his dialogue is, you know, against Shuma Gorath, is, it's always fun to kill a god. Um, so, implying that, you know, if there is a standard of strength, Akuma believes himself to match up to it. Now that doesn't mean, again, that doesn't mean anything. But I just don't want somebody saying, arguing about who's a god and who's not a god, because like I said, that doesn't mean anything. However, if it did, we have seen Oni beaten by Gil, who is also considered to be god-adjacent, though to be fair through like, occultish pa practice and genetic engineering rather than, like, computers. Um, by that same token, though, or not by that same token, but considering that, there is a glaring weakness in Susanoo in this fight. So basically what I'm saying is, by all of that explanation I just gave, I'm saying that Susanoo potentially does have the power to beat Oni, or at least revert Oni back to Akuma, and then he would kill Akuma. However, the one major out, the one major glaring flaw in this fight, if there is a weakness to these two characters, aside from the fact that Akuma, or Oni, can just be smacked into being Akuma again, is that Susanoo is specifically a Hakumen with Terumi's soul inside of it. And not only the Raging Demon, normally in Akuma's form, the Raging Demon will destroy your soul. Oni, like I said before, that's like every single thing he does destroys your soul. <laughs> so, like, a Hadoken becomes the Raging Demon. Like, so, Oni would have like a million, so Oni's attacks would be like especially powerful against Susanoo, because he'd be attacking, like, basically the link between Terami's consciousness and his actual physical body, rather than just attacking his physical body, which would be not impervious, because, you know, it's been fought before, but, you know, it would be a lot easier to just attack his soul, which he will. Also, even if he can't sense a soul, he just does that, that's like his go-to, so... Based on that, I think it is very possible Susanoo could win. I would give it to Oni. I am going to get every Blaze Blue fan in... So, like, Mitch and I think, like, three other people uh, complaining that I don't know anything about Blaze Blue, and you are correct. But that's my answer, okay? So, Brooklyn Engine 95, see ya.